finally, welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry for my absence. I'll explain that in a little bit. I'm using the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream all over the face, and then I'm using the NARS Brow Perfector in Medium Brown Ash. I am just filling in the front and then going towards the back. This is very, very similar to um, Anastasia's Brow Pencil, the really thin one. I don't know why I can't remember the name of it right now. But, um,. This is very, very similar to that, and I really, really enjoy it. You only need a little bit, and it just goes with your my hairs, especially, very, very well. And I love that they have so many different colors and shades for each person's hair color. So, if you haven't tried it, I definitely, definitely recommend it. I've been using it, like, for months now. So, I'm just going to fill in the front. And then I'm going to use the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel to... Set them. Sorry I have been absent guys. I have been crazy busy with work. And finally I found an editor and he edited this video for me so I'm excited to get back into it. I'm going to use MAC uh, Concealer. I think this is NC25. And I'm just using a flat brush to blend that out. I've been using this brush for forever. I just can't get rid of it or move on to a different brush. And I've seen so many similar brushes, but for some reason, these bristles, they're amazing. And they don't even make this brush anymore. I don't even think the company really exists anymore. Or at least they don't make these makeup brushes anymore, whatever. Anyways, moving on. Concealing this whole brow. My memory is very bad today, I'm just realizing. Oh, you see my little band-aid? This was when I had no nail. Yeah, I got my nail caught behind a drawer knob and it tore it off. It was great. I'm using the P. Louise base and I'm using one of the P. Louise brushes that was sent as well. This is the flat synthetic brush. You can use any brush, honestly. I'm just using a light layer all over. Kind of patting it in. I don't put too much of this on, especially during the summer. My eyes get drier. So... I'm just careful around the eyes because I have very sensitive, very dry eyes, so I'm really careful around the skin around there. So if you just blend it out really lightly and don't use too much, it's fine if you have dry skin there. I'm using the Morphe the 15T palette. I'm using an E40 brush by Sigma and taking Morphe Babe and just going into the crease back and forth. Just blend this out. I love Morphe's eyeshadows. They're so freaking soft. Using Woke Up Like This with a Morphe brush, I'm just going to put this on the edge, kind of blend it out into the crease, not too crazy, um, but I do love how opaque these colors are. And they're really different, they're different tones and mustardy and like bright or, you know, they're different from the average palette, so I really, really wanted to use this. I know it's definitely still on our website because I know I filmed this back in June, but yeah. I'm using the Rumor Zero Base by P. Louise, and I'm definitely getting used to these bases. I've used the regular base by itself for a long time, but I know that she has different ones um, that are more paints, so I just received those in the mail, so I'm going to definitely be playing with them in the next couple of months, and videos, obviously. But I'm just using this to kind of cut my crease a little bit. What I do like about this formula is that it's very, very thin. So when you do blend the other sides of like the eyeshadow where the um, cut stops, it doesn't skip or anything. You kind of are able to really pack the color on. Now I'm using Artist with that same brush. I'm packing it on there. This is a super lime yellow green. Um, it looks more, actually no, it does look pretty lime on video. I feel like an in-person looked really, really lime. But um, yeah, this is definitely such a fun color. Just gonna pack it on there. Yeah, it's just this, the P. Louise base is just makes it so clean. I just love how smooth everything blends out. Now I'm using the C37 brush by Crown just to kind of sharpen that line by the crease. And I'm using, I think I used, um, woke up like this. I'm taking a look up like this again and just kind of blending that out so it's nice and seamless and I was so 
obsessed. At that point, I was telling my mom. My mom always comes in when I'm filming, and she's just like, are you filming? I'm like, yeah. It's literally the same thing every time. I'm using Schwing Liner by The Bomb. I've been obsessing over this liner this summer. This past summer. Um, I've been loving just the way it looks because it's matte, it's smooth, it creates such a beautiful wing. And it's so cheap, you guys, so if you haven't tried it, honestly, I so recommend it. Look how pretty. Mm-hmm. I'm into it. I'm using the Tarte Tardis Mascara. This is literally my number one mascara. I always run back to it if I cheat on it. <laughs> so I'm using this to coat my lashes. And then we're going to throw some light lashes on. These are, well, in my sense, light lashes. These are Gigi Bell Lashes in Victoria. These are my newest style. Super fluffy, super fluffy, super fluffy and soft looking. And you could still see the eyeshadow. That's really what I care about is that you still see the eyeshadow with lashes. A lot of lashes just really cover up your whole eye and I'm not crazy about that. So at least with these. You really could still see the detail in your eyes, and it kind of just accentuates the shape and everything. I'm using the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip. I've been loving this primer and Milk's Blur Stick. I feel like this primer actually has like that sticky tendency, so like the foundation stays on really well. I'm using the Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere Radiance Foundation with an F83 by Sigma. Just gonna blend this all out. This I used a lot this summer too. Um, I felt like it gave me a very nice finish. Not too dewy, not too matte. It was like right in between and it just really went with my skin very well. I'm using Tarte Shape Tape. I think this is a medium. I always listen to music so if you guys see me bopping my head around in a strange way, that is why. Blending it out with my Beauty Blender. I have a tie-dye wand that I want to use, but I'm like saving it. So I'm trying to like use this one as much as possible. I'm gonna use a little bit of Laura Mercier's Flawless Fusion Concealer to brighten up the corners. And just a little bit on the nose. I'm using Fenty Beauty Truffle to contour. Right now I'm obsessed with the Tantor by Huda Beauty, but this would definitely be a plan B, if that makes sense, because I've really been loving the Tantor. It's so smooth. I mean, this is amazing too, but I don't know, the Tantor's got me. So I'm just blending out my foundation brush. I always like to blend it out my foundation brush rather than a sponge because I feel like the brush has some foundation on it, so it'll blend really, really nicely. And I feel like sometimes with a sponge, it doesn't blend as well. Like, I feel like I'm having a hard time right now looking at me doing that. <laughs> I'm using the Kylie Setting Powder in yellow. I've been loving this too. You only need a little bit, but I guess today I wanted to really bake it up. But I've been using just a little bit underneath the eyes just to set it. And I usually just go out like, I don't really bake too much unless I'm like really intense using Toasty and this Moda brush, blush brush, it's like a big bronzer brush, I've been loving this. You guys can use code Gianna and get a discount on their brushes, they're really really awesome. Now I'm going to use Morphe Creator as blush and then I'm just going to blend all of this stuff out. And then I'm going to use Woke Up Like This and Morphe Babe underneath the eye. This is an Anastasia brush that comes with like one of the palettes. I'm just gonna smudge it underneath there. I love this orange color. I've been so into the oranges lately. I'm using Dazzle Gold Dazzle Highlighter. This is from one of MAC's recent collections. So pretty. Very, very interesting consistency. And I think I'm using a Morphe 501 brush for this. That's like the only highlight brush I use, honestly. Yeah, this just looks so pretty, especially bringing it up to the brow bone. It's just such an interesting consistency. It's like a powder, creamy texture. It just goes on so nice. It looks wet looking, which I love. And I'm gonna use the E56 and put Dazzle Gold in the inner corners as well. So pretty. Hopefully they make this like permanent, this kind of formula. Using Hazelnut Tea Lip Liner. 
according to Lama Lips. This is new from, or newer from Laura Mercier. So I'm just gonna line it up. They're very, very smooth. They remind me of um, Max lip liners. Then we're using the new Rouge, Rouge Essential lipstick. This is the shade Coral New. Super pretty. Their formula is super creamy, very moisturizing, very nicely opaque as well. This is Working Girl. This is a limited edition NARS gloss, but it is still around. But it just gives you like the perfect gold tinge. So pretty. Such a great combination. <laughs> that one was basically pulled out of my ass. <laughs> Um, using the Hangover 3-in-1 setting spray. I've just been loving that. And that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you in my next one. Subscribe and obviously like this video. I love you guys so much. See you next time.